All right, we are on step three of building our house using the graphics module. So now we need to build, let's see, the door, the door handle, the window, and then also a puff of smoke that comes out. I'll just quickly run my code that I've been copying from that I've typed in in the past. F5, here's what it looks like. A little puff of smoke comes out from the chimney. It actually comes out from behind the chimney. Just an illusion. And it goes straight up. That's in the y direction, negative y direction for a little while. And then it goes both x, positive x and negative y, and it floats off the screen. Now, where we left off, let's go to my other code. This is the code I've been sharing with you. I just simply added these two for the door rectangle and the door knob. And I had to adjust my X values because remember my, uh, this new one that I'm making is a little bit different. So I'll hit F5 and there it is. So my door's not exactly the same color as the other one. And I think I accidentally put the doorknob on the other side, but that's okay. Uh, so that's what I want you guys to make next. And your colors don't have to match mine. Now I'm not going to do the window. The window is simply the same thing as this rectangle. I'm going to have you guys do the window on your own. All you have to do is copy this rectangle, right? Paste it right down here. Change the points from this one and this one. Basically to and from, you know, try to guesstimate, give yourself a guess of what this corner point is. X and, you know, the X, Y coming down, and then what the X, Y is of this one. And then just trial and error and get that, that point figured out. So, uh, you might want to pause the video now and get that done. And then I'm, now I'm going to continue on and get the puff of smoke to come out of the chimney. So, let's get my code for that. I'll paste it over. Okay, so I just pasted this code here and did a few adjustments. Um, let's run it just to show you what it looks like now. Oh, look at that. The puff of smoke is in front of the fireplace. We want it to be behind, so it looks like it's coming out. So take a quick guess here before I give you the answer. What should I do to this chunk of code? I'll do a control X to cut it. Actually, I'm going to show you guys that with my right mouse click. Cut. And that's correct. Some people said, have it be drawn on the screen before the chimney rectangle. So now it should draw it behind. Let's hit F5 and give it a test. All right, good. It's hidden now. Okie dokie. Now we need to put in a for loop here to get that puff of smoke to move. Okay, I've just copied the for loop, control V here, I'll paste it. So now, as the code runs, it draws everything on the screen, and now I start a for loop. And a for loop basically says, take this letter I, and it can be any letter, you can use any variable here, but we like to use I, stands for increment, um, and so you increase it. It just keeps starts off at zero in the for loop, and then whatever the number is here, because we're using the range function in the for loop. It starts off at zero, and then it goes to one, then to two, then to three, to four, five, six, all the way up to 20. So like it says here, this will loop 20 times. Uh, and so it does everything indented every time through. So when i is equal to one, then it goes through and does this. i is equal to two, does this again. And what is it doing? It's saying, we're applying the move function or move method to the smoke object that we created up here. And so it's moving, is it moving it in the x direction? No. This is the y direction. And then we have it sleep 0.5 a half a second so that it doesn't run too fast. All right, let's run it and see what happens. Hey, oops, it didn't go far enough now, did it? I guess I had mine go up that high and then I had it go off to the right. So, a little test for you. You can copy this, 
paste it and what should we change maybe change this number 50 and change something else I'm not going to tell you I'm going to see if you guys can figure this out give it some X and Y movement play around with it and see it see if you get and then just keep adding this number I don't know if it needs to be 500 maybe it just needs to be 50 or 100 I don't know but you guys test it out um, this is how many times it loops we just need to loop it enough to get it off the screen all right so play around with that and get it to move off to the right and then you're oh and then you have one more thing to do and that's to add the grass if you take a look at my example that I gave you guys my instructions I've got a rectangle down here it has some grass so you've got to add the window the grass and make that ball move make it move excuse me the uh, the smoke puff move and for honor students you are to add a sun picture that comes up and sits in the sky for a couple of seconds and then goes back down so you need a sun if you want it to come up from over here maybe come up stop maybe you could have it go across the sky a little bit and then it starts going down whatever you guys want to do uh, just as long as your sun comes up sits for a few seconds and then goes back down all right that's the honors credit